Tyron, a 55-year-old handyman, comes to the little free pantry at least a couple times a week when food and money run out. I saw this box here one day and I looked in there and I said, oh, they got some food in here. I could use this. I could use that, you know, because I don't eat a lot. Since opening the first Little Free Pantry in Fayetteville, Arkansas in May 2016, more than 600 such cabinets have popped up across the U.S. and around the world. The one in Lexington Park, Maryland, was installed on the property of a local library thanks to the initiative of a local mom's club. The library is a community connector, so uh, we were really interested in getting people the all the resources they need, including food if necessary. We have homeless in this area, but we also have just working people who aren't aren't able to make it, you know, to the end of a pay a pay week or, you know, families, you know, that just they may just have hit hard times. The brightly colored pantry contains food and essentials like medication and personal care items. Anyone can put anything in the pantry. The only exceptions are objects that might be dangerous, glass containers, sharp objects and alcohol. The Moms Club members organize grocery shopping trips when they see the pantry is empty. Sometimes they use donation money, but most of the time they buy everything themselves. A lot of times when I'm out shopping and I see something's on sale, I'll pick up a few things then or I'll head to the dollar store and just get a few things. Today there are hundreds of these pantries around the United States, but they're also spreading in Canada, Europe and even New Zealand. Volunteers understand they're not going to solve the underlying problem, but what they can do is show how even the smallest initiative can make a big difference. For Natalia Leonova in Lexington Park, Maryland, NRI's VOA News.